Alright, this is Let's Play Bahamut Breath, Part 5. Um, I screwed up the last couple of videos and I had to split them up, sorry about that. Um, I knew about the YouTube 10 minute, lim or 10 minute limit on videos, and I'm surprised I didn't pay more attention to it, but whatever. Anywho, it was Part 5, uh, now we're going to be choosing Chenzi's path, I think we'll do first. And uh, I believe Nightshade's path is where I finally stopped playing the game, or working on it. That's Clyde's path. We won't do that. We got the badass music again. Oh, Nightshade's path isn't even in this version. Excellent. Do you choose Chenzi's path? Yes, I do. Very well. Chenzi stands up on a piece of wood. Where am I? The blast must have sent us flying. Good thing the piece of raft was out here. I have to get going to shore. Oh, there's a giant cloud over there and houses, which I can't see on the screen. Uh, some guy walks to the side of the cloud, talks to you. Uh, I'm King Er. Uh, looks at Chenzi weird. King Nimbus. Yeah, that's it. So he pulls Chenzi up. Um, talks about how this place where the only people with pure souls can come here. Talk. Chenzi is you know, trying to get a, become a Bahamut knight. Is that so? Da -da -da. Sorry, I'm a little tired. Alright, there's a little hidden thing right here. Unlooking Mime appears. Teaches you Mimic Times too, Which is useful. F well, it would be if I could use Chenzi past this point. But this is pretty much the end of the line for using Chenzi for the rest of this LP. You awake? Yeah. So you're Bahamut Knight, I am too, etc. How about some training? Sure. He gives you an ultra elixir, which is like a super healing item I'm not going to be able to use. Lazy map tiles. Alright, first part of training is uh, the library, I think. He f wants you to read all the shit that's in the library. It's a dojo, it's not really used. I love how there was like no line tool in the OHR back in the day, so I couldn't draw anything straight. It was all by hand. I think this is some ripped DBZ music. Fuck yes, DBZ. All these bookcases hold different books. I'm not going to read them because I don't want to bore you to death. If you have any canon questions, let me go ahead and ask me in the, in the comments or whatever. Uh, you done reading? Yeah, let's continue. Alright, now next exercise in the throne room. I'm more than likely to be able to fit in both scenarios, and this might be the last LP. Oh, that's a really disorienting backdrop. Two doors that don't do anything. Okay. Time to play a little chess. What? This is the first mini game in OHR history. Well, at least on a couple sites I'm credited with that. Uh, this is Chenzi Chess. The way it works is you got all these knights standing here. Uh, you can't walk in any of the spots that they could jump you on. So therefore... Um, if I walked forward right now, those two knights, one of them would jump on me. The catch is, all of the spaces are pretty much unsafe. The question is, uh, how do you get past it? Well, two of the knights don't know how to play chess, so they don't have the right rules, which throws the entire thing into utter chaos. If you get, step on the wrong square, you have to fight one. Uh, I don't even remember the right way. I don't even think there is a right way. Let's try right here. Okay. That one of these knights, or, or both of them, don't know what they're doing. Nope. They still don't know how to do this. I'm going to skip it because it'd be a long fight otherwise. Ah, too bad. You failed. Meet me outside town. <laughs> you can sit on a chair. And, uh, you say sorry to Nimbus because he's pissed at you're sitting on the throne. Disorienting background and bouncing character with no correct walk walking thing. Man, I didn't even know how to draw walking when I was younger. Crazy. Should have just experimented with it for a little longer. You got this huge town. Something that most players probably never saw. There's an observatory with a telescope on it, so you can go see um, some stuff. 
We're not really sacred, but um, Kama's Feshner brought us here so we can further our studies in the stars. We have a super powerful telescope. Check it out. Okay, that must be the moon. And I think there's another telescope later in the game that you can see something else at. Alright, we're going to go down here. Screw everyone else. I'm not going to do anything. Alright. Alright, this is the last test of the day. I'm going to teach you how to fly. I'm not a Dragoon. It's not possible. Apparently, in my universe, uh, Dragoons are the only class that can fly. Instead of just jumping, they're like dragons. They can fly. Okay, um, teaches you how to fly. Now he's challenging you to fly, or to fight while you're flying. He's uber powerful, he will rape you. Luckily I have the revenge technique and I can just use that if I want. Revenge you. More ripped DBZ music. Because that's what Chenzi was based off of DBZ shit. If I'm about to dial, hit F4 and skip it. <laughs> oh shit, he jumped. Is he gonna land? Four health left. I'll just skip. It's too risky. Uh, Nimbus floats down and lands. That's the end of the training for today. I hope my friends are okay. I, um, until I finish my training. So Chenzi stays in the miss and trains. Uh, the narrator explained it well, now would be a good time to say, end of demo. Not necessarily true. I don't know why I just switched to Clyde, that's a glitch. In any case, Clyde's scenario is in, and we'll be doing that on the next Let's Play of Bahamut Breath, which is the last one.